Whoa. Uh. Holy smokes. W w what happened to him? I don't know. No one's ever jumped into the decycling bin before. Well, where does it go? That information is above my pay grade. Oh, jeez. I'm in a lot of trouble now. Don't move a muscle, McFly. I gotta go tell Citizen Brown about this. I've got a really bad feeling about this. Well, here goes nothing. Gosh, man. Did I do something wrong? Did I do something? Mr. Tannen, I put a lot of work into honing you as the first Citizen Plus. What on earth possessed you to assault a police officer and dive head first into the decycling bin? Did I do all that? Lord, I thought your father was dim. No, really. I don't remember doing anything like that. The last thing I remember, I was showing that nice McFly kid my watch. Then, blam, I'm down here and you're yelling at me. McFly? <laughs> McFly. Strickland. Oh, hi, Martin. Give me the tapes, Edna. Mr. Tannen, please restrain our guest. Uh... Biff, stop! Stop! Oh, no. <laughs> Biff, isn't that the license plate to your car? Sheila? Huh? Tannen! Focus! Uh... Hey, look over there! It's beer! Beer? What's going on? Biff? Howard Tannen, obey your programming. Ah, ah. You see, Mr. McFly, thanks to the enhancements I've made to the Citizen Plus program, I can bring even the most rabid of dogs to heal. Einstein? <laughs> Doggy? Where am I? Tannen, I didn't go behind my namby-pamby husband's back so you could wallow in your vices. Uh, uh, Bell, are those your favorite cigars? Cubans? Tannen, listen to me! Uh, babes. Uh, booze! Mommy? Tannin! Get up, you useless slacker! Come on, Edna, give the poor jerk a break. A break? You sound like my wishy-washy husband, always trying to find the good in people, never wanting to accept the fact that some people are just born bad. Maybe, but that doesn't give you the right to turn them into zombies. Now, give me my dad's tapes so I can- You mean those tapes I erased while you were struggling with my zombie? What? Come on. Utopias are fragile things, Mr. McFly. Especially when overseen by minds as distractible as my husband's. No. No! Edna! Doc? Emmett! What are you doing here? I came down here to investigate a troubling report involving Mr. Tan. Doc, you gotta stop her. She- Silence! Okay. I was concerned there might be a flaw in my Citizen Plus program. Imagine my surprise when I found my wife perverting my life's work. Is this what it's all been about, Edna? All those years? All our struggles to cure society's illnesses? Just to create a world where free will can be turned off with a flick of a switch? Oh, please, Emmett. You wanted this just as much as I did. Remember? If only we could tell someone to stay off the grass and so help us, they would never tread foot on a well-manicured lawn again. That's what Citizen Plus does. It makes rules unbreakable. 
I only gave it the slightest of changes. Enough. We will not have this discussion here. But... Go home and wait for me. Fine. Doc. Ah! Father, what have I done? I'm sure he wouldn't blame you for all this, Doc. He was so happy when I gave up my childish dreams in favor of Edna's more practical pursuits. Are you proud of me now, Father? Doc, don't be so hard on yourself. This Hill Valley may be a little messed up. O okay, a lot messed up, but you were just trying to help people. Or was I just entranced by the challenge of transforming the human psyche like so many chemicals? I'm sorry about Edna, Doc. She didn't seem so bad back in 1931. No, she wasn't. When we were first dating, she was so spirited, principled, compassionate. When did I lose her? Ah, enough wallowing. What's done is done. It's time to look forward. Maybe, but maybe not. What? Your notebook from the other timeline. Not this foolishness again. Look, you can use it to repair the time machine and fix all this so it never happened. Everyone could be back the way they're supposed to be. You, Edna, Jennifer, my parents. Doc, you once told me if you put your mind to it, you could accomplish anything. Well, accomplish this. There's a lot of empty pages. The only one you need is right here. Take time, of course, but once it's done, we'll have all the time in the world. Ha <laughs> ha! Doc? Martin, we must get started at once. Come on! Can we bring Einie along? The dog. Yes, of course. You know, I used to love dogs before Edna came along. You don't say. I'll go ahead and start preparing a lab. Edna will be furious, but who cares? We've got a time machine to fix. Woohoo! Don't worry, boy. I'll get you out of here in no time. What is it, Einie? McFly. Yeah. Hey, Biff. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Better than I've been in a long time, you know? So you remember... That witch making me do stuff? Yeah, she'll get what's coming to her. No one tells Biff Tannen what to do. No one. Hey, I I'm the guy who snapped you out of it. Really? Cause all I remember is a punk kid who thought it'd be funny to make me jump down a hole. Ah. Down, Biff. I'd stay. All right. McFly. Oh, crap. All right, McFly. Time to race the music. Bass. It's face the music, you idiot. I need sick him. Place your bets. What the? Let's get out of here, Einie. Sorry I took so long. Biff came around to jump me. I totally laid him out with the old ruler. Martin McFly. Edna? It's almost impressive how many years of work and planning you nearly ruined in just a few short hours. Where's Doc? Uh, Doc. 
My husband is in a better place. Better place? What have you done to him? Relax, Martin. We've got everything under control. Here's the real story. I'm a Marty McFly from an alternate timeline. And uh, why? Because you're weak, Emmett. What can I say? She's my muse. I'm not sure I like where this is going. It's almost embarrassing how devoted he is to me. You gotta believe me, Jennifer. This whole town's gone crazy, and Citizen Brown and I are the only ones who can fix it. There is no future for us. <laughs> <laughs>